Headley Horse Hacks, offering tips, tricks, and tutorials in 90 seconds or less to help your horse be healthier and your life just a little bit easier. Episode 3, Interilus and Horses. The problem is the conventional approach to treating Interilus is surgical removal. This is expensive, dangerous, and requires a lengthy recovery time for the horse. Interilus form because of mineral imbalances. They can be made up of various types of minerals, but they generally begin because of an irritation in the GI tract. This can be a piece of twine, a piece of sand, a piece of gravel, etc. Similar to how a pearl is formed, the horse's body will begin to lay down mineral deposits to cover up the irritation. These mineral deposits will accumulate and start to grow and form into obstructions. If this is left untreated, this can kill the horse. Certain breeds, like Arabs, Mustangs, and some draft breeds, are predisposed to enterolith formations. Any breed of horse can develop enterolith, but these breeds tend to be the most sensitive. And that brings us to Headley Horse Hack number three. Feeding equines apple cider vinegar with their daily feed rations helps to dissolve mineral deposits before they have a chance to grow into obstructions. We recommend using organic, feed grade, raw, unfiltered apple cider vinegar. If you notice misformed manure, oftentimes will look like a half moon shape or curve like a banana, this is an indicator that your horse is growing an enterolith in their gut. Additional bonus when feeding apple cider vinegar daily. This will help to normalize the horse's gut pH. A healthy gut pH is well known to provide a number of health benefits for the horse, including improved nutrient absorption and reduced incidence of colic. If you like this content and want to see more, be sure to hit that like button and give us a follow. We also love hearing from you, so if you tried this horse hack or if there's a topic you want us to cover in a future segment, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in.